No, we can talk to everybody. And you go into some of the big major chains and not to knock them down, but you walk in and you're just a number. Well, and some of those people think, well, I work at such and such a store, and they think they're above you. Uh You know, I'm not going to dress up for a gala when I'm going shopping. I'm running in and out of stores. Um, Sorry, that's not me. Not putting on the stilettos to (laughs) go shopping. The nice thing about about her, too, and the family is... Um, all sizes are beautiful. Exactly. And they tell you that, and they make oh, you feel that way. And they don't and lie to you. They'll yeah. tell you, this would look yeah. great on you. Yeah. And, you know, they're not telling you a fib either. Some of the pieces I, like I have, them. I still get compliments on that. my mm-hmm. Ruffley sweater. And, I, it, and it really goes into, it doesn't go out of style. Right. And it goes in. But you can also, like you said, find some really unique items. Mm-hmm. So you do look trendy. Yeah, they they have great too. accessories that are really affordably yeah, it priced. It would be a great place to go for the trip because oh, you they, can they, afford to take a lot of new things and feel special every they're day. They're gorgeous. Yeah. And a lot of the items that I bought from that store four years ago, and what I love about it is the material. And every time I'm on a plane getting to Seattle, this stuff comes with me. And it's it does. You cannot wrinkle. Yeah. You cannot <laughs> wrinkle this. You know, you fold it. You uh, and roll then it. you roll it in, in the tissue paper. But a bing, but a boom, and in your suitcase it comes out. It, it's gorgeous, and mm-hmm. it breathes. The material breathes. I'm, well, you can also you know, afford to put. The, she has a lot of fun jewelry, yes. so you can afford to put the whole package. You know how sometimes you'll get a blouse and you're like, well, it'll be another year before I can afford the, all the accessories. Right. But you can totally walk out with the package. You certainly can. Yeah, yes. and and feel pretty good about yourself. <laughs> and if you never want to wear it again, her clothes are affordable, and you know you can pass it on to somebody, or you don't feel like, oh gosh, I've I've got to wear this a million times because I just paid 110 dollars for it or whatever. So. It's a good place to go. There you go. And talking about good places to go, uh, let's move on down the line here, and let's get talking about our kitchen. Diane, tell everybody what you just did. I just got a new double oven stove and um, the exhaust fan with the light. I don't like the microwave over the stove thingies, so I do the fan with the exhaust doohinky and the light. So bada bing, bada boom. Well, yeah, <laughs> yes. And last week when uh, the ladies were in different locations and we got yakking about this through the phone calls, and so uh, we go to Kitchen Concepts here in San Bernardino. On and Tippecanoe. Thank you, Wonderful darling. Wonderful store. Yeah, you really do. And the really, that store is terrific. Even Christina, all of her appliances came from there. That's right. So if you Kevin, are. Kevin took good care of me every time, and he still does. Yeah. Uh, I like Kevin Scott and, and Jake. Uh, yeah. Kevin, I bought my dishwasher from. And this time I talked to Scott, and when I went in to make the purchase, Jake helped me. And I also have to say, but I don't know their names, the guys that did the delivery and installation, Mm -hmm. they are so funny. Well, one does all the talking. The other one, he does all the running around looking, get me this, get me that stuff. He's the gopher or go for person. (laughs) Um, But characters and very efficient. I was... So pleased with my purchase, and and they'll tell you too. There's been so many changes with like washing machines and dryers because I still don't have mine repaired, um, but I am intending to repair. I do not want the new ones, folks. In case you're not aware of it out there, with all the changes with the EPA and all this stuff, it doesn't matter what size tub you get. You only can put so many clothes because you're only going to get a little bit of water. So I'm fixing my old one so I can have water in. My clothes require water to be washed. Yeah. You know? So. (laughs) uh, I love to use lemonade. Yeah. The new ones don't have the agitator in the center. So unless you buy front loader, your clothes are going to just sit in there and barely get wet. So I'm telling you, don't. Buy those new ones thinking you're going to, or if you're going to buy a new one, don't buy the huge tub because what's the difference? You know, that's like putting a a giant comforter in there and putting a cup of water on it. You think it's going to get clean? Think again. That's right. And also, to get back to uh, Kitchen Concepts, one thing that I like about that is their setup in that store. 
Yes. It is so easy to walk through that store. And the other thing that I like about it is when you walk in the door, you know, some of the stores you go into and they jump on you, <laughs> but, you, you know, like a, a tiger or something is attacking, in the same way with car lots and the they give you time to look, and then when you're ready to talk and ask questions, then they approach you. And that's, that's yes. what I like. And they are very informative. Another thing I want to tell you guys is, yes, my exhaust fan is made right here in Brea, California, made in the USA with a seven-year warranty. So, um, you know, you got to keep that in mind. So I was doing business locally and also getting an American-made product. I have yes. to tell you, Diane, that did you have rubbed off on me there when I when we were in Redondo. Uh, that group likes to do a lot of the thrift stores. Uh, strip, help me. Thrift, thrift store stores. shopping. Thank you, yes. girls. <laughs> and you know what? It's really a lot. You guys have to go down there sometime with me. There are a lot of them out there, and uh, I picked up a couple items and I looked and it's oh, made in China. Okay, I put it down. So Girl. you have really had a good impact on me, and I'm telling other people that too. Look and see where it's from. Let's help. Mm-hmm. You, whether it, wherever you're at, whatever right. you're purchasing. I know sometimes some things can't be avoided, but if right. we can make most of our purchases that way. The more we do, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. more people are going to jump on it. and more business is going to come back here, more people are going to be working. So I'm proud of you. Yay. Yes. I'm proud of you for spreading the word because I didn't even pay attention that much before, and now I do. So. Well, I am so glad. <laughs> yes. You well, know. I get excited when I see a product that it says right on there, and on the front, made in America. Made in the USA. Yes. You know, hey, so I, I didn't that. know about this water thing with the washing machines. I didn't Thank either. Thank God I used disposable underwear. Eric is cracking up in there. <laughs> no, you know what? Going back, and Carol was talking about traveling. Uh-huh. You know, I found out my, a lot of people do that now, you know, so you don't have to pack as much, and you can mm-hmm. bring disposable underwear and just get rid of them, and you don't have to worry about taking stuff home. How about that? that yeah, that's a nice Look at the girls idea. are looking at me like I'm that's, out of my yeah, mind. Now, now you guess have what you're all room. getting for Valentine's Day? <laughs> oh, Lord. Under- now, <laughs> and then you'd have more room in your suitcase to buy <laughs> for things. For the trip. <laughs> yeah, and also talking about buying for trips, another good thing, too, the ones that do have to fly from here to there or wherever they're going, and the prices of airline tickets are going up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, every time that I'm on a trip, and you got to buy. Yeah, you know, it's just this thing that we got to do this, right? You don't what? have to buy excessively, though. Right, but whatever We're gonna you buy. We're going to have Shopping Diva with us, so right. she'll help but us. <laughs> whatever you buy, what I have always done is after I got the purchases and I got back to my son's house, and then when we're in different hotels and whatever, I get everything together. I find UPS or FedEx. I get everything, and I ship it right back to my house. All you got to do is walk on with your purse and your little carry-on, and you're done. That's you don't have idea. to. Pay, you don't have to pay for the extra price for the poundages oh, yeah. of the suitcase. When you get off the plane, you don't have to stand waiting for the luggage to go around on that wheelie thingy bob. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it makes it so calming and so easy. So when you're out there and you're traveling, instead of even in a car and you're saying we're running out of room. Find your UPS, your FedEx. That's what they're there for. One price. It's done. And the deal it is. And if they break it, guess who? who guess what? They're going to pay you for it because they broke it. So how, how much you know, do you end up spending on that, uh, Bev? On what? On the shipping. Like how much do you end up spending on shipping? The last time that I was up in Seattle, I went up to visit my son and my daughter-in-law. And uh, there was a lot of good shops, especially when we went to Friday Island. It was like I was like a kid in a candy shop. I, Eric, the way I can explain it, if I bought everything home, I would have had to pay for another suitcase and the other poundage, and it would have been over $150 to get this stuff on that plane. When I went to UPS and the way that they pack it and this and that, it was $45, boom, done. And so there you go. Yeah. Hmm. And so it does, it does save you a lot of money and a lot of hassle. True. Okay. I've got to tell you guys about something I found just, well, I've been shopping there for a while. But they had such a nice item. Okay, it's supposed to be winter. Yeah, we're in the 80s. But <laughs> winter's going to hit us eventually. 
You think? So, yeah. <laughs> so there's a place at Riverside Avenue and Baseline in Rialto called TG's Beauty Supply. T-I-G-I is the name. I don't know if that, I don't know how, I think it's TG's. Now, they have wigs, beauty products, makeup, jewelry, hair products, um, you name it. But they had, this week when I went in there, they had the knitted scarf with the fringe on it, a beret to match, and these long feathered earrings for $10. The whole package. They have the Whoa. whole thing. And they oh have all kinds of colors. And they're in two different spots in the store. So you might want to check that out. I mean, you, that's a great price. Yeah, and talking about that, Diane, uh, talk about their hair supplies when you went in there and you were looking at them. Um, well, they've got everything, every, everything, every kind. They've got even, um, you know, body products. But they have, uh, you name it, from hair, not only just wigs, but they've got all the little extension things, curly ones, straight ones, braided ones. You name it, they've got it. Every color in, in, in the color wheel you can do your hair in, and all the hair products for keeping your hair great and, and the makeup, and lots of earrings, too. Oh, yeah? Stuff for your nails. You name it. it. The store's huge. It's very spacious. I like that. It's not crammed like um, another store that people are real familiar with, but this is really spread out. I mean, it's huge. And, and it's got... open to the public. That's yes. nice because, you yeah, know, in a lot nice. of these supply houses that are just exclusive to – uh, the professional hairdresser. So this is nice where people can come and, you know, have choices. Yeah, and they always have things. Oh, they also have a salon attached. But um, they've got all kinds of products, everything you might want to take care of you from head to toe. Nice. Go, go and check, check it out. out. Rialto at Riverside and Baseline, T-I-G-I. Um, it's You pull in by Sizzler. So I think it's fun, the little hair pieces you can put in, you know, the I little clip-ins and stuff like that. Let's go down there together yeah. and, oh, and that we'll would be have fun putting fun. it on. I love that. Yeah. And then they, you know, now the, the feathers got, were kind of trendy and they're kind of going out a little bit, but they're still, I've seen them on people and they're kind of fun just to add to your wardrobe and really you could have fun on that cruise just with putting on the different clips on your hair for night. And yeah, we've got to, we have to do something hippie style in yeah. Frisco. <laughs> Oh, yes. And oh, that, cruise. I love San Francisco. Oh, me too. Oh, God, that place is so cool. And also, when we get off that ship, we're going to find different uh, stores and stuff and do some shopping over there. Oh, yeah. Right there on the port? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got um, 13 hours, 12, 7 to 7 is 12. We could cover a whole lot of tour. And, 15 uh, hours. Real quick, talking about San Francisco, did you ladies ever ride one of the trolley cars? No. Oh, it's been a long time, but I, I remember the little trolley cars and the crooked little street that goes down. I, I drove down that in my now, will we, actually, will we actually stop and get to roam around San Francisco? Yes. We can do whatever we want once we get off of there, so taxis, however we want. Yeah, because I like to peer out there and mm-hmm. get some uh, fresh uh, ceviche and fish and things like that. Yummy. And the place is gorgeous. I was at Kings Harbor, and, and that's still a lot of fun, too. So if, if you uh, want to go somewhere even closer and you can't get on board, go over to Kings Harbor. I had some best. I, could, I couldn't get over all the fishes and things they had there. It's, it's so much fun. And just such, before you know it, you're going to be on the cruise, and you're going to be doing all these cool things. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, I love it. And real quick, before we go on to the other things, getting back to the kitchen um, uh, thing, Kitchen Concepts, their phone number is 799-1806. Again, 799-1806. Go and check them out. All three of us give them our stamp of approval. You you want to get a new appliance, they do sinks. I need a new dishwasher, everything. so I'm yeah. going to be in there real soon. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I mine, need a new I love dishwasher. It. Okay, they, they have their location there in San Bernardino on Tippecanoe, and then they have another one in Yucaipa. I so check them out. Water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they probably even have a Facebook page, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and and the one in Yucaipa is on Yucaipa Boulevard. As soon as you come up to the hill and you see the uh, Carl Juniors, right across the street from the Bond Shopping Center, that's where they are. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and also talking about kitchens, have you ladies been into Home Depot lately and looked at their paint supplies? No. No. It's really cool. But I do want to paint my living room. I might even get your guys' suggestions because I, I might just go out on a limb and just do something fun. Well, go to Home Depot. 